Good morning, everyone. It is Tuesday the 26th. Uh, you're going to hear a lot of noise because there's a lot going on. But just to get you going on with what's going on with me, I will be working on my slicer. That is a custom. It will be due sometime this week. I will get it finished. And I'm going to clean the rust off of my M4 knife that I finished uh, two weeks ago. Just letting it sit, it is already rusted and corroded. That will be the majority of my day along with whatever projects I've got. I will show you tomorrow. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show, go on over to Josh so that way he can show you what he's working on and then we'll go into the show. Hey guys, what's up? I'm working on a custom for Nico's uncle. I'm going to get it shaped up, cleaned up today. Also working on a custom sheath for this Spyderco. It's a collaboration between uh, Spyderco fan and Spyderco themselves. And we're going to put a little drop point sheath on that. It's made for water use, so I put a little drainage hole as well in there. So that's my day. We're going to go back to Daniel so he can go to Nico in the showroom. All right, guys, so let's take a look. We've got some new things in the showroom. What's up, buddy? Yo, yo. Yeah, we got a big shipment of mini bug outs. These are the white with the black hardware and blades, so be expecting some cool dyed versions in the future. We got a lot of them. And then if you look over here, we also got our new handmade Japanese line up. So these are knives both from Foreign, which are handmade, and then also from Takafu Knife Village, which is a small knife making community in Japan. A bunch of really good high-end master smiths making handmade Japanese knives. So really cool stuff. I've been waiting for this for a while. Come check it out. Right on guys, so once again, you're not gonna see any of these Japanese knives, Houston, maybe let alone Texas, for sale. Uh, if you do, someone either has acquired them themselves or bought them from Japan or Corinth. These knives are some of the first that have been in here in this city, in this state, for sale. So guys, come check them out. If you have any questions, always hit us up. Uh, make sure you're messaging us, liking, subscribing, and we will see you on the next one. Take care, guys. Good morning, it's Wednesday, uh, July 27th, and today I will be catching two vaudeville knives up to the rest of the batch and working on getting these ready for bolsters uh, so basically what happened with the first two of these uh, is they ribboned through the heat treat process which even when you're at thickness sometimes happens um, doesn't make me happy but it does happen so I will do grind lines on these take them all the way up getting stamped and straightened and do a heat treat on those later this week or when I come back from vacation because this Saturday after work we'll be leaving. Uh, so I'm gonna get all the vaudeville as close to completion as, pro as possible um, before we go and then be able to finish up whatever I haven't gotten done when we get back. So that's my plan for today. It's basically all vaudeville uh, besides obviously some admin stuff I've gotta take care of. Uh, good times on that one. Uh, here's better times with Daniel. What's up everybody, just to get you caught up with what's going on in my world, I will be putting the edge on the slicer. It is all done, polished up, ready to go. I'll be doing a Kydex sheath after that because I probably don't have anything stock long enough for it. And then I will be putting the edge on my M4 uh, Euro that I've done. I basically had to knock rust off of it yesterday because it decided it wanted to mess around. Other than that, I'll focus on whatever else comes in and whatever else I've got behind in my work uh, load. But in the meantime, we're here in the showroom, and let's talk to Nico. What's up, buddy? What's up, what's up? We got some more bench mazes in stock. So this is the new 430 BK readout. It's got CPMD2, really cool, with a full grippery handle. It's got that broomstick style. It fits really well. I like it. Kind of a hard use survival knife. And then we got some more of the black CLAs in stock. Right on. The new readout, uh, Nico likes it. I'm a fan of the steel and the blade shape. I've got to get used to this kind of like griptilian, grivery, green and gray kind of thing, but it is kind of a cool knife. I love, like I said, I love the steel and the blade shape. Other than that, guys, make sure you're liking, subscribing. Uh, yesterday we had a good amount of business and I want to remind people that on Tuesdays, industry uh, personnel in the kitchen industry get half off. Um, so thank you guys for supporting that and making that grow. We continue to want that to happen. Have any questions, comment down below and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.
Thursday, July 28th, and today Josh and I will be finishing a Kydex sheath for a customer. He had a, a, a bit of a quicker turnaround than normal, but we were like, hey, we can get it done. We got the sheath for Nico's uncle to a good spot yesterday, so the clip um, for the boot carry is on, the liner is on, so we just have to do some stitching and then make a weld and get that. We should get it most of the way done today, not maybe finished, but we'll, we'll get it done the next two days and then we can get that knife sharpened. So mo most likely by the end of tomorrow, that knife will be fully done. Uh, I got a little high carbon mustard patina santoku ready for hand sanding, so that's good to go. Uh, we're gonna save that for the guys for next week. I'm trying to build up tasks for them to do while I'm gone so Daniel doesn't have to find stuff for everybody. So really, that's my day. It's all about sheaths um, and then just planning for next week. Here's Daniel with what he's got going What's up, everyone? on. Uh, just to get you caught up with what's going on in my world. I will be working on a set of, I want to say eight, but I think I have like nine or ten in here, uh, Bowies. These are going to be a groomsman's gift for a gentleman for his wedding in October. I'm just trying to get a leg up on it. Um, and then I will be working on uh, some stuff for stock. Hopefully I'll be able to get some handles on uh, these three, if not this one right here. Uh, that'll be the main focus of what I do, along with some other things and whatever else comes in as usual. Other than that, we're going to go ahead and go on into the showroom and show you what Nico's got going on. What's Yo, up, buddy? Morning. Yeah, so yesterday we got a big ZT shipment in, ZT and Kershaw, so we got the 0450s titanium and the CF one with titanium. We got the big old Galean, kind of K bar esque. And then we got a new blur in with some green anno 14C28 in blade. And the Hinder slicer, and we got some luches back in stock. And there's a lot of other stuff too. You'll see that tomorrow when I get it at. No, no. So, uh, big shipment once again came in. We've still got some stuff coming in right now, so we'll have something uh, all as well to show you tomorrow. But everything will be in by the end of the week, guys. So, other than that, make sure you're liking, subscribing, doing all the things that we've asked you to do. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care. Two. Good morning. It's Friday, July 29th. And yesterday, contrary to my plan, I got two knives glued up. Uh, they're still in the clamps. Uh, give them a little while longer, and then we will shape them. Uh, I am going to get some other handles on for knives, so we've sold a few things. Um, and basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get some stuff ready so Josh and Gabe have some hand sanding to do next week while I'm gone. Um, trying to create lists for them so Daniel doesn't have to think of everything for them to, to stay occupied. So um, we're going to get these down to, to hand sanding today slash tomorrow, uh, get some more handles on, and we'll do some shaping. Uh, and it was cool because Gabe got his first like hands on, like how you build a handle, um, how you glue up a handle, etc. So we're going to do that again today. Um, well, i got to finish the knives first, and then we'll do that again today. Um, so really, that's my day. We're gonna show you what Josh has going on today. Hey guys, so like I said yesterday, I got some work done on this sheath right here. I shaped it up a little bit, make everything pretty for the next steps. And I also got a handle glued up. This one has some G10 pins. They're a bit teal, some natural wood. I'm going to put epoxy on these scales because there are a few voids that you can see right here. Uh, but that's my day today, and here's Daniel. What's going on, everyone? Uh, just to get you up to speed with what's going on in my world, I will finally be putting on the handle. Whoop, I'm going to bring it this way. Putting on the handle for this guy. I uh, had a little tie-up in between, had some stuff going on, but then as I tried to rush it, I burnt uh, pieces of the G10. No worries, I just got to grind it back. Um, I will be doing that, hopefully getting it ready for glue. I'll put that aside, considering Russell and Gabe might get those other handles to glue up. And if they do, we'll just do it all together. I will then switch on over to the Bowies. Um, just to be safe, one of them is a little undersized. So I'll probably cut out another one or two, just so I can have them as backups in case anything slips off or anything looks a little too off. And then I will also try and get this back edge hook ground not too thrilled honestly uh not something i normally do hooks are not our favorite they're just a pain um but i'll get it done 
Uh, this project is a lot further than it's been in a long time, so I'm actually pretty happy with it. And if I can get it one more step to being done, then yay! Other than that, that's what I'll be working on along with whatever comes in. Let's go to Nico and see what's going on in there. What's up, buddy? What's up? So we got some zwilling in. This is new for us, the Mayabi uh, Ko Santoku. I really like this shape. It's basically the same as the black Santoku. It's just not all souped up with Damascus and pretty handle. We got a 10 inch slicer. This is also new from Zwilling for us. And then a seven inch fillet knife. I know a lot of people have been looking for fillet knives lately. And we got a re-up on launches. So this is the 14, this is their newest one. It's like a little cleaver, kind of cyber looking. And then we've never had this hinder and before. So this is the glow titanium with 20 CV harpoon blade. Does it glow in the dark? I think it does. Let's see. Let's see. Whoa, wait, what's <laughs> this? Okay. Well, we'll check later. <laughs> in the meantime, uh, there is a lot of new things in. Uh, we're going to continue getting new things in. If you're paying attention on social media, there is an expansion going on. So we're trying to get things in slowly but surely. This room's going to get a little packed before we can get into there. Uh, that way we have a good amount of stock and inventory. So if you see anything you like here, guys, make sure you're paying attention, uh, liking, subscribing, commenting, doing whatever it is that you have. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next one. We'll wrap up the week and talk to you then. Take care, y'all. Saturday, July the 30th, and today I will be getting these two knives down to hand sanding, as well as I'm going to catch them up to these and then do them all together. Um, get four more knives ready for them to be hand sanded for next week. And we have officially finished the sheath for Nico's uncle. It's still upstairs. The edge coat is drying, so I guess it's not officially finished. So we're going to finish hand sanding this and put an edge on it and that will be the second part of my day. Um, otherwise, it's getting stuff ready for, for me being gone next week. Uh, more on that when I get back in two weeks. Here's Daniel with what he's got going on. What's up everybody? Just to get you caught up with what's going on in my world, I've got this guy glued up. I got those glued up yesterday with Russell. Um, I'll be bringing that down to hand sanding sometime today and then more than likely getting a handle ready for this mean big boy. Um, a lot of time into this guy, especially this back hook, which is not uh, a favorite of mine, but I'm getting it to the next stage. So if I can get a big old slab of walnut on that, that will be one step closer to being done. Other than that, along with whatever else comes in, I'll be taken care of. Let's go ahead and go into the showroom with Nico, see what he's got. Yo. What's up, buddy? We got a little Kershaw shipment in earlier this week. So these are the leaks and scallions and the chive and then we also got a re-up on the link which is a 20 cv assisted knife for about a hundred bucks you guys uh, already in stock yep right on kershaw assisted along with some of the steels they use um for what they cost some of the best bang for your buck especially if you want to go american made uh, we hand select Kershaw just like we do every brand that we have of the things that we want in here so that way we understand the materials just as well as the brand. Uh, it's one of the things we try to invest our time in, especially this guy right here. He really takes a look at everything to see what kind of steels and materials we want in here versus just having everything. Uh, take a look guys online. Make sure you like and subscribe and like always. If you have any questions, message us, contact us, call us, doesn't matter. You guys have a great weekend and Nico, Josh, and I, I've said that all kind of awkward. We will be running the shop mainly. Russell will be out of town. We'll see you then. Take care. Peace.